Fedora 36 is an amazing release, and I've talked about it actually a couple times now on the channel. But what happens if you're not on Fedora 36 yet, but you've been living f on Fedora 35 for a while? How do you update? Well, there's a couple ways of doing it, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So let's go ahead and jump in. So I have here a release of Fedora 35, and we can tell that it's Fedora 35 by opening up a terminal, like so, and doing cat, and then this path here, and it's just going to tell us we're using Fedora release 35. And I'm doing this just to prove to you that I'm going from 35 to 36, but it's, you know, it's easy to do. So here's what you have to do in order to update. Now, like I said, there's two ways of doing this. The first way is to do it via the GNOME software application, or you can do the terminal application. So either way, the first thing you should do is update your system. And the easiest way to do that is to do so through the terminal. At least in my opinion, you can update via GNOME software as well, but it's just easier to do it this way. So what you'll want to do is do sudo dnf upgrade like so, and then dash dash refresh. Okay, like so, and then enter your password. This may take a while. For me, it won't take very long because I've actually already done this once. I wanted to do that off camera because it did take probably about four minutes or so in order for me to actually get it updated. But if you routinely keep your system updated, this actually won't take very long. So now you're free to choose the direction you want to go in in terms of updating but first you should do a reboot so do a sudo reboot like so or you can use the menu up here whichever you want to do it doesn't really matter but since we're here already we'll just do a reboot and you may see a splash screen that says it's updating or you may not depending on if you had any updates to do and then it will reboot we'll come across here and enter our password and now, if you want to use the GUI way of doing this, you open up GNOME Software, click on Updates, and you'll see this banner here that says Fedora 36 is available. You'll hit Download, and well, you'll let it download, and then it'll ask you to reboot your computer, and then you'll be done. You'll be on Fedora 36. Now, that's really simple, and it really wouldn't necessitate a video being made. So I'm just going to cancel that and show you the little bit more complicated way of doing this. So just in case you want to update through the terminal, you can do so. So we'll open up the terminal again, if you can spell terminal, which I apparently can't. And I'll zoom in so you can see. So the first thing you'll want to do is do this. So sudo dnf, and then install, and then dnf-plugin-system-upgrade, like so. Enter your password. Now what this will do is it will update or install the DNF plugin system upgrade tool thing that they require for you to have on your system in order to actually move from one version to another. And it may or may not already be installed for you. For me, it was already installed. I didn't have to do anything. But if you don't have it installed, this command will install it. You may have to hit yes one time during the installation to confirm the installation choice. So here's what you do next. You do sudo dnf system dash upgrade like so and then download and then dash dash release ver equals 36. Now here there are some rules for upgrading Fedora. You can move from two versions behind to the most current versions. So if you're still running Fedora 34, you can easily go from 34 to 36 using this method. If you're on version 33, it probably won't work for you. They always suggest it's only two versions of Fedora that you can upgrade between. The other ones you'll have to go, so if you're on 33, you would then have to go to 34 before you could do an upgrade to 36, if that makes sense. They do say that it works sometimes, but they will not support you in the forums or whatever if you go three versions using this method. So just know that if you're three versions behind, you should go up one version and then go to 36. So once you got this typed in, hit enter, and it's going to ask you before you continue, ensure that your system is fully upgraded before running DNF refresh update upgrade, which we did do. And we're going to go ahead and hit yes here. And this will take a little while. So I'll cut the video here and come back when it's done. At a certain point, it will probably ask you if you're sure you want to do this, hit Y, hit 
enter, and then it will install all the stuff that it needs to install. Now, as you can see, the number of packages that it needs to install is in the high thousands, almost 2,000 packages. So it will take a fair bit. So again, I'll cut the video here and come back when it's done. A few moments later. Once it's done downloading, it will ask you if something else is okay. In this case, it's asking you to import a GPG key. If that's okay, you again, you hit yes, and then it will import that GPG key. Okay, so once this is done, the next thing you'll want to do is do DNF system dash upgrade, if you can spell upgrade, and then reboot. Now, this is actually going to require sudo. Why they don't tell you this requires sudo here, I'm not sure. Because uh, you're just going to get error if you don't do it with sudo. So we'll do this, enter your password again, and it's going to reboot. And then a lot, somewhere along the way, you'll probably find a splash screen saying that it's updating your system. Yep, just like this. It will take a little while. So again, I will cut the video here and come back when it's done. A few moments later. Once that's done, it will actually go ahead and reboot again. And then it will log you into your display manager here, or it'll bring you to your display manager, and you'll enter your password. And now, if we open up a terminal again, and run that same command we did at the beginning, so we'll see if we can scroll up enough to do it right here, we'll now see we're on Fedora 36, just like magic. So, that is Fedora 36 with all the cool bells and whistles, so if you wanted to change it to dark mode, and you could do that, so we'll go into the settings application here, just to show you that it has the dark mode, and we can do that, and we actually get the brand new wallpaper. So there is Fedora 36. If you have questions, you can leave those in the comment section below. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can do so at LinuxCast. You can find me on pa on Mastodon as well. That link will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. I'd like to thank my current patrons, Robert Sid, Devon, Patrick, Fred, Kramer, Tri Devil, Antoine, Meglin, Jack Snipe, Jules, Steve A, Supergirl, Linux, Garrick, Samuel, KB, TGB, Keith, Andy, Uncle Bona, Gary, Ross, Mitchell, J Dog, Carbon Data, Jeremy Sean, Odin, Marnie, Eduardo, Art General, Elliot, Mislav, Merrick, Cam, Dash, Lee, Peter, Crucible, Dark Minutes, Primus, PM, Ardock, One, and Philip. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.